networking is an important piece of your internship or job search strategy. Since most job seekers are hired as a result of networking, it's vital to learn how to confidently build and expand your network. Networking can happen almost anywhere, at on or off campus events, like employer info sessions or career fairs, through LinkedIn, professional meetups, industry conferences, alumni events, or even through coincidental encounters in your daily life. To keep track of events and contacts, create a spreadsheet to log who you've reached out to and what kind of follow-up you've done. Maintaining this spreadsheet will keep your networking organized. No matter where or how you're networking, you'll need to introduce yourself to your new contacts. How you tell your story should be brief and tailored to your audience. Summarize your previous and current relevant experience, as well as your professional goals, being sure not to include unnecessary personal information. LinkedIn is a useful networking tool as it allows you to see, connect, and interact with professionals across industries. To start, make sure you update your page by writing a brief summary using keywords from your industry and add any work, internship, volunteer, or campus activities to complete your profile. You can find NYU contacts by going to NYU's page and clicking alumni. Sort and filter these students and alumni by keywords, where they're located, the company they work for, and what they studied to generate a list of potential contacts. When looking for potential connections, focus on individuals at the level you're aiming for or a few levels above, ideally in your target department. When contacting someone through LinkedIn, it's important to remember the difference between being proactive and aggressive. Asking someone to chat on the phone about their organization is proactive. Asking a new contact to get you a job is aggressive and not recommended. Keep your initial message polite, specific, and brief. Introduce yourself and mention that you're an NYU student or alum. Ask for something specific like a coffee chat, phone call, or virtual call, and always say thank you. Not everyone will have time to respond to your message, so try not to take it personally if you don't get a response each time. When you set up an informational interview, prepare by researching the person, their role, their company, and industry for a more meaningful conversation. Ask open-ended questions about their path and experiences to get information you can't get through research alone, and don't make the conversation about your skills or goals. Only offer your resume for review if they ask for it, which means have it ready, but don't lead with it. Always send an email after each conversation to thank your new contact for their time and advice. Mention the steps you plan to take, if any, based on their insight. It's also nice to offer to reciprocate their kindness if or when possible. It can be hard to maintain new connections after that first conversation, so try to identify times that might be more natural to follow up, such as when you have a question or can offer an observation, when you can update them on your progress, or when one of you achieves a personal or professional milestone. For more information about networking, speak to a Wasserman Center career coach or view our resources on Handshake.